This is just the beginning of a path we'll travel together, with obstacles to overcome and possible storms to weather. One day we'll sit side by side, hands withered and bent, thinking back over the years, the good times we have spent. We'll remember the laughs, we'll recall special places, and look far beyond the grey hair and softly lined faces. So let's take it all in and cherish each day, no matter what happens, no matter what's thrown our way. Do you take Ashley in marriage to be your wedded wife, to share your life as your friend, your lover, your companion, to grow together in spirit and in truth and in forsaking all others? I do. And do you, Ashley, take Graham in marriage to be your wedded husband, to share your life as your friend, your lover, your companion, to grow together in spirit and in truth and in forsaking all others? I do. Spirit of love and life, out of this world, two souls have found each other. Their destiny should now be woven into one design and their joy should not be known apart. Ashley and Graham, may your home be a place for happiness for all who enter it. A place where the old and the young are renewed in each other's company. A place for growing, a place of sharing, a place of love. May those who are nearest you be constantly enriched by the beauty and bounty of your love for one another and may your days be good and long upon this earth. Graham and Ashley have declared before us they will live together in marriage. They have made special promises to each other they have symbolized it by taking vows and exchanging rings. So therefore, on your behalf, on behalf of the community here present and in the sight of God, I now declare them to be husband and wife. Graham, you may kiss your bride. To sum Graham up, I would say, if work was in the bed, he'd certainly be sleeping on the floor. <laughs> Literally. But he wants something, he'll work down bloody hard to achieve it. Just like when he worked so hard and sacrificed so much to buy his beautiful family home with his now beautiful wife, Ashley Morton. I love that he's such a cute loving dad to his clever handsome Zachary and his beautiful cute Daisy. The father bond he has with them is unmatched. They are such fascinating smart children who are absolutely adored by their parents, Graham and Ashley. Graham is an absolute credit to our family with his honesty, respectfulness and greatness. 
This just goes to show how well we were raised by the Rockefeller family, our mom and our dad. Folks, I'm very um, lucky in this day and age to have a true friend and friend for life in Graham, as well as a big brother. And I wish him and his new wife, Ashley, and their little family nothing but the best in the future. I'd like to leave you with a quote. They say you don't marry the person you live, you live with. You marry the person you couldn't live without. I think that is a perfect summary of Graham and Ashley. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure and please be up and standing and raise, <laughs> and raise a toast to Graham and Ashley, the new Mr. and Mrs. Morta. I hate about myself that no one knows But with you, I see hope again Oh, I'm a mess When I overthink the little things in my head You seem to always help me catch my breath But then I lose it again when I look at you, that's the end And why do I get so nervous When I look into your eyes Butterflies can't stop me falling for you And darling, this is more than anything I felt before You're everything that I want But I did Think I'd find someone who is worth the wait Of all the years of my heartbreak But I know now I've found the one I love And I love the way You can never find the right things to say can't sit still an hour in the day I'm so in love, let's run away Because us is enough And why do I get so nervous When I look into your eyes And butterflies can't stop me falling for you And darling, this is more than anything I felt 